Okay, so this next set, um, we know how to plug in values for our equation. Uh, this set right here is going to, going to be specifically graphing linear equations by locating the x and the y intercepts, um, which makes it really easy because all you're doing is solving for two points, you're graphing those, you can make up a line. Now, um, conceptually though, every year students confuse what the x and the y intercept are. So let's focus on the x-intercept here real quick. And the x-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the x-axis. Remember, it's that horizontal line. So it's wherever it crosses that horizontal line. X-intercepts happen when the y-coordinate, okay, or you can think of the y-value in your coordinate, is 0. Okay? So in order to cross that x-axis, y has to be 0. So to find the x-intercept from an equation, replace y with 0 and solve for x. That easy. Okay? Plug 0 in for y, solve for x, just like you would um, from the, the first unit that we worked. Okay? That will give you the x-intercept. Now, up here up top, I want you to put what that coordinate will look like x comma zero so whatever you get is your x value you'll plug in and that will be your coordinate y is zero your value will be x you would plot that on the x-axis okay same thing with y-intercept except the y-intercept is the point where it crosses the y-axis y-intercepts happen when the x-coordinate or x value is 0. So just like we did in the x intercept, what do you think we're going to be doing in the y intercept? What are we plugging in or what are we replacing? Plugging, we're replacing x with 0 and solving for y. Okay? And so what do you think those coordinates would look like? If x is 0, 0 comma, and then whatever your y value is. Okay, very, very simple. So let's do one of those examples. Let me know if I go too fast. I'll be more than happy to slow down. Okay. Okay, so this first one. Um, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing two different sets of work. So I'm going to draw a line, and what we're going to do is graph 3x minus 2y equals 12 by finding the x and y intercepts. So over here on this left one, I want to find when x is 0, I want to solve for my y-intercept. Okay, and so I'm going to take my original equation. Now I like to rewrite things, but I know that some of you uh, don't like to write. So... What you're going to do is take the equation, you're going to plug 0 in for x. This is the portion where you have to show me work. Now, what makes this easy is, what is 3 times 0? So you can just cross through that and kind of ignore it from this point. What you have left is negative 2y equals 12. And so solving for y, divide off my negative 2. y equals what? Negative 6. And so I can set... And I can write an ordered pair. X is 0. Y is negative 6. We'll plot it here in a minute. Okay. Do the same thing to find your x-intercept, except now we're setting y equal to 0. Okay. We're going to use the same equation. We're going to plug in our value for y. What is negative 2 times 0? Zero. So I'm just going to cross that out. What I have left is 3x equals 12. Divide off my 3. x is equal to 4. So I'm going to write an ordered pair. x is 4. y is 0. Now I have my two x and y intercepts. I can plot those. Okay. So the first point, 0 comma negative 6. My x-axis is 0. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go down 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
draw a little circle. Okay, that's my y-intercept. Plot the 4, comma, 0, x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4. Got my two points, take my straight edge, connect the dots. Okay. Draw your little arrowheads and your things, um, and that's your graph. Now, for your notes purposes, what I want you to do is label this. You will not have to label this on your homework. X-intercept is right there. This is my Y-intercept. Okay, just label it for your notes purposes. Like I said, on your homework, you do not have to. Okie dokie. <clears throat> so what I want you to do is use the same concept. I want you to do example four on your own and we will compare answers.